Black women are not a teachable moment. We don't exist to help cisgendered, heterosexual men become better people somewhere down the line. That's not why we're here. I am originally from Chicago, Southside, born and raised. I've been a professional writer for over 10 years at this point, and I have done my best to use whatever platform that I have to call attention to the things that R. Kelly has done and the things that R. Kelly has been accused of doing. It matters a lot to me because black women and girls matter. And in the era of Me Too and Black Lives Matter, it is incredibly frustrating to see how hard we still have to fight to get people, including people who look like us, including some black women themselves, to believe and affirm and understand that. But there's just something that strikes in the hearts of so many people when it comes to holding powerful men accountable. And I have a particular responsibility as a black woman, as a mother to a black girl, to never let people forget that we deserve protection that we are human beings. There's no R&B song, there's no film or piece of art that should allow you the opportunity to be an abuser. One of the most intellectually bankrupt, morally bankrupt arguments that I've heard leveled toward myself and other people, black women in particular, who stand up against predators that happen to be members of our community is that we're somehow acting as agents of white supremacy. There's no racial duty that I or any other black woman should have to stand by an abuser. There are people who seem to think I delight in having to throw stones at beloved black men. It is one of the worst feelings imaginable. Not just because people are gonna say mean things to you and get mad at you, but because I live in a world that has set my people up to fail, to self-annihilate. My love, my empathy, my support and care for black men cannot take precedence over the urgency of ending patriarchal violence wherever it may lay. My hope is that this is not just a moment. I hope that people understand that like my personal focus on R. Kelly isn't just about R. Kelly, but it's also about what he represents. Rape culture is not limited to celebrities, but rape culture is a system in and of itself that protects predators, particularly male ones, from accountability. If he doesn't get a deal, if he loses his deal, the second somebody discovers that sort of behavior, then maybe you don't have to deal with the breakup. So for me, Justice is the withdrawal of social status. It is the withdrawal of public support and affirmation. It is to see them go down in the annals of history as a both and. So we will talk about your musical legacy and contribution. We will talk about the cultural impact of your television show, but we will also talk about who you were as a human being. And we will hopefully prevent the next you from existing. What's up folks, thanks for watching The Root. We hope you enjoyed this video and will continue to bring you more that's of interest to you. So leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube.